Mach 3 controller. We make holes for assembly. We use wood screws and M4 nuts as spacers. The same procedure for CNC V3 shield. We also assemble and connector strip. According to the manufacturer for the micro step settings we will have to bring a logical voltage to the MS1 and MS2 pins, in this case for 64 micro step we must bring a voltage to the MS2 pin. For this we will mount a jumper at the M1 pins of the CNC V3 shield. For the correct assembly of the driver we identify the enable pin on the driver and on the CNC V3 shield. We also mount the radiator. Connect Z direction from Mach 3 controller to Z direction from CNC V3 shield. Connect Z pulses from the Mach 3 controller to Z step from the CNC V3 shield. Connect the GND pin on the Mach 3 controller to the GND pin on the CNC V3 shield. Connect the 5 volts pin on the Mach 3 controller to the 5 volts pin on the V3 shield CNC.
connect a voltage of 24 volts. We connect the Z-axis motor. To detect the motor coils, measure the continuity between two wires with a tester. The ones that have continuity are part of the same coil. Connect a coil to pins A1, A2 and the other coil to pins B1. B2 We put a jumper between the enable pins and G and D on the CNC V3 shield. We power the power supply and connect the USB cable from the computer. We open the Mach 3 application, press the reset and go to Z buttons and then with the up and down arrows keys we manually operate the motor.